It's Friday favorites, and I thought I would come to you from my deck. It is that nice outside, a little on the hot side, going to get hotter, but right now, it's a great place to sit. Fridays always make me think of, oh, it's the weekend and Friday, and I mean, it makes everybody think that. Happy hours, hanging out. So I thought I would come at you today with some of my favorites for doing just that. My first one is I discovered a Valerie Bertinelli guacamole. She makes like a salsa and a guacamole. You basically get two dips out of it because some of the salsa goes into the guac and then just, I do it on a long platter and chips go all around it. Easy, simple. Some of you, you know, you do so many appetizers and so many things. I'm like, keep it simple and just do a lot of it. Then it's just easy for people. Cute cocktail napkins, you're done. But what goes better with guacamole than margaritas? And Barefoot Contessa, good old Ina Garten, love her, because she does things fairly simple and fairly easy, which I like. Um, but her margarita is really good, and it's fairly easy. Her little secret is a little squeeze of lemon in it with all the limes, and it is good. And she also says um, they turn out the best with cheap tequila, and who doesn't like that with their budget? So you gotta buy the clear kind, you can't buy the dark tequila kind. So that is fun for guests and to hang out with everything. And my sister was here last weekend and my niece, and she gave me a little gift, a little belated birthday gift, cause she knows what I like. And I think she said she got them off of Amazon, but you know how I've talked about votive candles before? She got me a whole box of these, unscented, so you don't smell all the, cotton and jasmine and the outside especially. Um, I know some people like citronella candles and whatever and up north friends, you know, that's different. That's serving a purpose. This is truly for lighting and ambiance. And um, I would even buy a few of these. The thing is, I have not been able to find the bigger votive candles unscented. I swear they've fallen off the planet. I don't know what the deal is. So she's like, I'm sorry, I just got you that. I go, this is the best gift ever. And I'm going to use it for Friday favorites because I put these things all over the place and that is what lights your deck. And the other thing too, you can get, you know, the um, bulb lights, you know, we have those by our grill, the, you know, selling at Target, whatever, just the round globe lights. I think they're 10 bucks a strand, but they just, they kind of pin up anywhere. Like you could really put them for that lighting too, but that and candles and that's it. That's all you need. And I just love the white ones cause they just kind of light pretty at night. So those are some, some of the favorite things I like for my deck because this is, I'm standing in the spot where we hang out all the time and will I'm sure this weekend too. But to get off the deck for a second, I wanna uh, tell you about something I found this week because it just cracked me up. And it has to do with Otis, but it just cracked me up. And look at, hello, I know you're back there. So, and he's approved this. I found this thing this week. <laughs> It's called, it just cracks me up. So I just have to, the cuddle cup. It is called, oh, I'm sorry, the jumbo, the jumbo cuddle cup. And I just loved what I read on the back. Um, jumbo sized cushion, high walls for maximized cuddling and support. And what, dog does not deserve it more than that one with his last couple months. So the Jumbo Cuddle Cup, for those of you that meet me here with clients and stuff, and you know Otis is always laying under my bed, now he's laying in a brand new fresh bed. And if you have dogs or cats and want to pick up a cuddle cup, I found it at um, Home Goods. That's why I was there the other day. Um, well, that's not why, but <laughs> I walked by it and I'm like, oh, oh. So he's probably coming over to use it right now. It's that comfy. So I will end today with, there's so much more to cover, but you know, you can only go on so long. And the last thing I'm going to say is a shout out to my niece Maggie, who I needed mascara anyway. And I've always used the Great Lash, the pink and green one, because it seems like all beauty editor people say, that's the one, that's a, but the one she brought up, I'm like, I did kind of use that in college. And she's like, it's really good for thick, you know, when you're, when you're getting older, you want thickness, not length. So, uh, L'Oreal Luminous 
original. You guys have probably seen that. It's been around for a while. But I like the brush. I just used it this morning. Whoop. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm just saying. So L'Oreal, and I always think with L'Oreal, somebody might correct me here, isn't L'Oreal actually Lancome? And so over the years, if I'm gonna buy a drugstore type product, I tend to go L'Oreal. So for all of you, have a fantastic Friday. I'm going to put on my other eye of mascara and get on with my weekend. So enjoy your happy hour today and sitting around and sitting nice light and have a great Friday.